Hi, Sue again from Tea Time Together and I'm here to tell you another story about some people who met Jesus after he came alive again. Now if you remember last time I asked you to find out if you could the name of the place that these men were going to and they were going to a place called Emmaus. E-M-M-A-U-S, Emmaus. So today's story. Some friends were travelling along the road from Jerusalem to Emmaus, talking about the sad things that had happened to their friend Jesus. They met a stranger on the road who asked why they were so sad, and they explained that their friend Jesus had died on a cross and been buried, but when the women had gone to the tomb, the stone was rolled away and he wasn't there. The stranger began talking to them all about the stories in the Old Testament. That's the first half of the Bible. And he explained that Jesus was meant to die, but that he would come alive again. When they reached Emmaus in the evening, the two friends invited the stranger to have some food because it was getting late. The stranger took some bread and he broke it and all at once, those two men recognised who this stranger was. It was Jesus. They'd seen him before break bread like that. Then Jesus disappeared. And even though the men had walked a long way from Jerusalem to Emmaus, they got up straight away and they rushed straight back to Jerusalem to tell the 11 disciples all about what they'd seen, who they'd seen and that Jesus was alive. Now we're all on a journey, the journey of our lives. Every day is different. We can't see Jesus, but he is there walking alongside us. We can talk to him, that's when we pray, and we can learn about him from the Bible. Even when we forget that Jesus is with us, he is still there. He shares everything we go through and he wants to help us. And that's a wonderful thing to know. So we're going to sing again now our Jesus is Alive, our Easter song. So hopefully you know it well by now. Got my shaker. And here we go. Sing a song, sing a joyful song, sing a joyful song to celebrate. Sing a song, sing a joyful song, sing a joyful song to celebrate. Jesus is alive, you know, he's risen from the dead. He was crucified, but now he's risen like he said. Clap your hands, clap your hands like this, clap your hands like this and celebrate. Clap your hands, clap your hands like this, clap your hands like this and celebrate. Jesus is alive, you know, he's risen from the dead. He was crucified, but now he's risen like he said. Sing a song, sing a joyful song, sing a joyful song to celebrate. Sing a song, sing a joyful song, sing a joyful song to celebrate. Good, well done. I'm going to finish with a, a different prayer today. Now you need something to help you, something that you can eat, something that you can drink. Doesn't matter if you haven't got them, you can pretend to be eating and drinking. So when I say, let us enjoy the feast together, then you're going to go, whatever you're gonna do with your food. Okay, so here we go. Jesus, you walk on the road with us. Let us, Enjoy this feast together. We walk and we talk and we laugh. Let us enjoy this feast together. You share your story, we share ours. Let us enjoy the feast together. We're tired and weary and we stop to rest. Let us enjoy the feast together. You break the bread and thank God. Let us enjoy this feast together. 
You open our eyes and we see you. Let us enjoy this feast together. Amen. Now, one more story about people meeting Jesus after he came alive again next Sunday. And I haven't got a picture for this. It's a story of when Jesus meets up with seven of his disciples. They go out fishing on a boat and then they have like a barbecue on the beach. So they get a little fire together and they have some fish and bread. So if you'd love, like to draw me a picture of that or paint me a picture then and send it to me, then I can perhaps use that next week for my picture, for my story picture. Okay, have a good week. See you soon. Bye.